everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction guys. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button guys. And also remember to share because why sharing Ivorian Spice is caring guys. Boom! And today guys, it's England 1, Czech Republic nil. England are through to the next round of the Euros 2020. My God, with seven points, top of the table, guys. Yes, we've done it. We've advanced to the next round. Happy days for us. It's too early for us to be saying it's coming home. We shouldn't be singing it's coming home. Football's coming home because football is not coming home right now. It's on a delay, especially with the football that we're trying to play, guys. Especially in the midfield, the lack of creativity from our midfield. We played Czech Republic. We beat them 1-0 when it really matters. We played them in the qualifiers. We beat them 5-0 when it doesn't really matter just to qualify. But yeah, again, the midfield of us, guys. Overall, overall before I get to the midfield... Overall, guys, I think that we did what we had to do to go through. 1-0, 1-0. If it has to be all the way to the final, I'll take a 1-0 all the way to the final. But if we're going to take a 1-0 all the way to the final, do I have to accept the fact that we ain't going to play any good football? We're going to be playing some shit -a football, guys. We're going to have to accept that. But then again, we shouldn't. We should be winning 1-0 comfortably and still looking strong. Still looking comfortable with the ball, guys. You know, still possession, possessing and dominating in midfield. The key aspect of everything in a game is can you dominate the midfield to, to win this thing? And the answer right now for us is absolutely not. No way. Because, boy, we ain't doing shit in that midfield. With the double pivot, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm tired. I don't know if I'm seeing double vision of Oli on the touchline. I, I just don't want to see each time I blink. But double pivot against the Czech Republic, where Calvin Phillip and also Declan Rice was ineffective in the whole nine minutes. I understand you want to be solid at the back. I understand that. Solid in midfield. But pick the right player who can play the forward passes and pick balls. And also dictate tempo. It is so important. Every other team has midfielders that can dictate tempo, but England doesn't. Let's go straight into that game, guys, because in that first early two minutes, Sterling did hit the post, and I thought England was doing better than it was last time against Scottish. They looked more energetic, guys. England was, was looking lively in the first 20 minutes, and then after that, Jack Grealish, of course, my oh my, thank you, Jack Grealish, because Jack Grealish was... Exceptional in the first 20 minutes, drawing fouls, doing what he has to do. Again, with the ball, absolutely doing something with the ball, which was what we needed compared to the previous game with Phil Folding, trying to cut in and etc. Starting trying to cut in. Someone that can do more with the ball. With, with Grealish crushing the ball for Sterling to head the ball. Guys, let's, let's remember this. Czech Republic are a hugely tall team and a, the shortest guy in the team, Sterling, scored a header. Deep that, guys, because I don't make no sense. It really does. It's like the time Messi scored a goal, a header against Manchester United. It made no sense, but he defied gravity. And yep, with Sterling making it 1 0, England leading at half time. Second half, as always, guys, England doing all with the ball. Guys, lack of creativity from that midfield. Declan Rice, Calvin Phillip. I was just thinking, Gareth, Gareth Solskjaer, you should be playing Jude Bellingham, who's way better on the ball and also equally good going forward and also defending. He's a Steven Gerrard-esque, you know. What he's done for Borussia Dortmund this season and also winning the league title shows that he's far ahead Declan Rice and also Calvin Phillips. He's, he's playing Champions League football. They don't do that. They really don't. And I also thought that this guy is not going to play Sancho. Someone that's got double assists and double goals. Someone that's created for the last three or four seasons. Like, you know, someone that has 19 goals of assists. You think England would need that. But this guy, our manager, doesn't see that. But it, for him to play eight minutes, I thought he should have played more, guys. Guys, let me know what you thought about that. England winning 1-0 and only 1-0. Nothing else to come off of that in the second half. Although Henderson had got a goal this love for offside goal, England did nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. 
But we are happy because we're through to the next round. Man of the match, guys, got to go to Jack Grealish for the assist and only the assist. I don't care. We need him in the next game, guys. You, you let me know because Jack Grealish should be starting. He's an absolutely baller, but our manager is blind to see it. I, I just don't know. Uh, like, I wear glasses. I'm pretty sure that he wears some contact lenses or something, you know. Uh, I can see that Jack Grealish should be starting. But he doesn't. Don't give the match. It's a tough one. Gonna just have to give the Czech Republic team, you know. They were shit. They were shit. They had some opportunities, but still, they were shit. I was quite. My three lines, take it easy. We're through to the next round. Whether we get Portugal, Germany, or France, huh? We don't want none. Let's just hope we get the lesser team. And right now, I can't tell you who the lesser team is. I just don't want us to draw France. Guys, you let me know. Would you want England to I'd rather draw France? Portugal or Germany. We'll love a match against the Germans. Guys, that's, this has been your match reaction from Ivorian Spice. As always, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV 1, baby. And also follow the official TikTok account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV. And also remember to visit my personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore Spice, across the Twitter and also the Snapchat. And last but not least, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share, because why, as always, sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Three lines, keep it England. My Red United fans, keep it United, and also keep it Red United. I'm out. Peace out.